Good morning. Remember the show Gilligan's Island? The little minnow that was tossed and turned in a huge storm. And they end up on a desert island. Gilligan, the skipper too. The, mo the millionaire and his wife. The movie star. The professor and Marianne. Well, they're all there on Gilligan's Island. Many people consider the church a ship, a boat, an ark as well, that we're all on and that the church takes us through stormy weather and stormy experiences to safety. Well, I've been hearing a lot from people talking to me and that during this COVID time, where we have been as church, not able to practice the way we usually do. Sacraments are not available in the same ways. Adoration is not an opportunity for us. Going to mass has all kinds of limitations to where it just doesn't feel like home anymore. And yes, we have made sacrifices. And so for many, it feels like the church is a boat being tossed on stormy waters. And when we get terrified like that, fearful like that, uncertain of where we're headed and if we'll make it, we're often not thinking clearly. There's another story about a boat in a storm. These friends went out onto the water and had no preparations for bad weather because it wasn't bad when they, when they set forth. The big waves come up. The lightning flashes, there is rain and sleet, and water starts lapping over the edges of the boat, and they are freaked out, and they cry out, save us, Lord, save us. And there in the bow of the boat lies Jesus, asleep. And he stretches and is like, what, huh, what, save us, oh, yeah, stands up, calms the storm. The storm becomes a non-issue. It's striking because we in the boat, as church, have Christ right there in the bow, at the helm. And we are terrified as to what will happen with the church. I feel for this kind of fear. It, it's something that we have not experienced in our lifetimes before. Will the church be swamped? Will the boat be swamped? Will we make it out okay? Will we sink? Will people return to Mass the way they have before? Or will they be happy with a TV Mass? Will our religious ed programs be less uh, well attended because families are fearful about contagions? There are so many questions and legitimate ones that we have. But let's not forget who the boat belongs to. Jesus said to Peter at one point, he said, you are rock. And on this rock, I will build my church and the jaws of hell will not prevail against it. The jaws of hell will not prevail against it. Nothing, nothing is going to take down the church. No pandemic, no fire, no earthquake, no disease, no scandal, no poor leadership, no great leadership. Nothing is going to take down the church because the church is Christ's. We are members of the church. The church is Christ's. So Christ is at the helm. Christ is also our anchor. We are not being swamped around rudderless in a heavy storm. We have an anchor. So the test for us here, and that's what Christ said when he stood at the, at the bow of the boat calming the storm, he looked over his shoulders at his buddies and said, why do you have so little faith? He calms the storm. Even the storm surrenders. Nothing, nothing will conquer the church. So do not fear. Put your hearts at rest. It might feel like a storm. It might feel like we're going to go under. We may not recognize the church in the same way before COVID and post COVID. But what we know is the church belongs to Christ. You belong to Christ. Don't worry. Those are not our concerns. Our concerns are to trust 
and to believe and to live with joy in our hearts, even when we feel the fear crowding at the edges, to live with joy in our hearts, because all will be well, Jesus promised.